So we are winterizing our sunfish sailboat today. We have two. We already winterized this one, um, and we're keeping it on the little hand boat trailer. And all we did is use a big thing of, I don't know, I'll put a link in the description, but I think it's 14 feet by six feet wide tarp. And we are using a pool pillow and this um, shrink wrap. And you wanna make sure to shrink wrap in a certain direction, but we'll show you the whole process. It seems to work pretty good. So the very first step is take these big pool pillows and put them into the little hole there. And you want to do this so that, you know, the tarp doesn't get a little divot in it and all the water collects in there. Um, so this is, makes a mound and all the water kind of uh, comes off of it that way. So after you do that, you know, I put it in, I inflated it and just got it securely there. Then I took the tarp. And again, all these links will be in the show notes, um, the episode notes. So just look at that. But I think, yeah, this is a 14 foot tarp um, on the 13 foot boat. So we just wrapped it on the trailer um if you don't have a trailer what i was thinking to do was just get um four like home depot five gallon buckets and a plank uh, between two of the buckets each and just have um have the boat upside down on those planks and just rest it that way but i just figured you know i have these trailers anyway let me just use that so try to wrap the tarp as tightly as you can around the boat and once you do get that um Get that shrink wrap and just start bound, binding that thing down and you want to bind it from the lowest point because when you sh when you're shrink wrapping up um you don't you want the water to be able to run off and not get trapped inside the shrink wrap so if you start from like the top um then you know water will just run into it but doing it this way water will run through layer by layer kind of like shingles so the shrink wrap is really just there so that the tarp doesn't blow in the wind throughout the course of the whole winter. Um, yeah, it's, if it was just a tarp, you know, the wind would just blow, 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 and eventually probably uh, it would come apart. Um, so yeah, the shrink wrap, you know, is just there so that uh, that tarp will hold tightly there. And yeah, it got tricky towards the middle where the hole, where the, um, the trailer kind of lifts uh, the hole, so our little our six-year-old kind of helped us uh, with the wrapping because one person definitely helped uh, lifting the end. And yeah, so that made it easier. But yeah, I think, you know, if you don't have one of those trailers, you do that method that I was talking about with the five gallon buckets and a plank across and just put the boat upside down. And, you know, then if you don't really care too much about the bottom of the hole being uh, affected by sunlight, that probably would be enough uh, to just do that without even putting a tarp or anything. But tarp's probably a good idea. You could probably use like something like bungees too, but I think the shrink wrap is like the cleanest thing, um, cleanest way to do it without worrying about it. We also decided to protect the wheels, the rubber wheels with these contractor grade garbage bags, tied them off with uh, tape, and that completed the job. We hope that you enjoyed this video and have good luck winterizing your own sunfish sailboat. Please subscribe, comment, thanks.